I don't feel like there's a, a maybe other people think differently, but um, I don't feel like there's a, a true rivalry here. Um, I think there's two teams that mutually respect each other and and uh, and have the same attitude and intensi intensity and mentality to, to win trophies. So it's really cool to see Toronto here again. And, uh, you know, it's, it's the best team wins. And I don't think there's a, a, a true rivalry. Good end, Franco. He's so complex um, as a player, as an individual. Um, on the field, he's willing to take chances, wants the ball to his feet a lot. Um, but I think what surprises a lot of people is you, you don't see him for the majority part of the game. Uh, he, he does a lot of the, the movements that you don't really see on TV or on the field um, until he scores a goal. And then you say, wow, what great movement. But he's he's been doing that the whole game. so. He's really relentless in, in the way he plays um, off the ball, uh, and it's really a, a, a joy to watch, um, and, and that's why he's been really successful here, I think. Let's go to Matt. Um, Steph um, was the MVP in 2016, the final there, um, and he had a lot of attention on him from that for a little while. How do you think that he handled that, that spotlight, and how do you think that he's grown within the group <laughs> over the last couple of years as he's kind of come into his own? Well, I think Steph is a guy that is always going to thank, um, you know, his teammate, his coach, first and foremost. Um, he's a very humble guy, and I think he's handled it extremely well. Um, he hasn't let it got to his, let it get to his head, um, but he continues to get better, and, and that's what I I love to see about Steph. Um, he's a little bit older now, right? Um, and Steph will, will hit me in the back for that, but. Um, the fact that he's willing to, to get back onto the training pitch and, and, and get better with his feet or um, you know, communicating a little bit more, finding that leadership role um, within the team um, is it, great to see. And, and I think that's something that has carried over from, from 2016.